If I'm holding a plant, you can probably guess what today's video is about. But then again, you probably also saw the title of this video. Guys, today we're doing a plant unboxing video. Welcome back everybody, my name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus channel. I create videos that pertain to the topic of keeping specialty pets and animals, as well as more rare plants, house plants, tropicals, you name it. In today's video, we're going to be... Let's try that again. In today's video, we are going to be doing a plant unboxing. This right here is a package that just arrived from my very good friend, Gabe. For the love of God, Santa Isabella's. Well, it's actually not that bad. It's kind of nice, sounds like you're in the jungle. I have a bunch of dart frogs, a lot of them you haven't actually seen yet. Those are the Santa Isabella's calling. Anyways. Gabriel, my friend who you may or may not know, he's that super enthusiastic, intense. Dayon's gotta make a living. We're all in this together. Don't forget to smash that like button. Destroy the bell. Animal loving. About to get really nasty. Why here? Why don't we bring him up there where it's yeah, Because this is next to his natural <laughs> habitat. Uh, Do your thing, Brad. Friend. This may not work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you wear <laughs> Oh, brother. That's how it's done. Photographer. Uh huh, that's true. He's just sitting there. Who's in a few of my videos. I'm a videographer now. There's Dan in the background and Brad driving the Jeep. This is crazy. Hilarious guy. Love him to death. I was hoping you could sing something for the video. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Well, the thing you may not know about him is arguably he's one of my friends who has the biggest green thumb. And once in a while, he'll randomly hit me up and be like, hey, Dan, my plant tanks are too full. Do you want something? I mean, how do you say no to that? Not to mention that intense generosity. Gabriel, you're the best. I don't even know what's in here. He sent me an Excel spreadsheet and I haven't even looked at it yet because I thought it'd be nice to kind of have a genuine reaction to what's in the box. So that's kind of it. Without further ado, we're gonna get into here and yeah, unbox a bunch of plants from Gabriel. For today's question of the day, I thought it'd be fun, now be honest with me here, to comment down below what you think is in the box before you proceed any further in the video. Don't cheat, don't guess, don't say anything. I swear I have no idea. You don't have any idea at this point. Let's see what's in this box together. But let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give your comment a heart and be extra impressed if you guess correctly because it's super cool. And we'll engage in a bit of a conversation, probably about how impressed we are or not with our guesses. I'm going to think that there's definitely some carnivorous plants because that's one of the things he specializes in. But other than that, I really can't say. Alright guys, so here's our package. Um, I don't really know how else to go with this thing. Oh, it's like Christmas. I think we can probably... Perfect. All right guys, get those guesses in. This would be a great time to pause. There's some hype, there's a box right there. I really hope he labeled everything. Well, I am bad at identifying things on the spot. We got some styrofoam peanuts. Thank you, Gabe. Oh, look what I see right off the bat. All right guys, so right off the bat, there are a few Drosera. And not just like a few, like a lot. Thank you, Gabriel. This is so awesome. Wow. My chair is creaking. Look at all these beauties. We're gonna need to look at that list. Ah, you're a good man. You're a good man, sir. Number three. I'm sure that's gonna correspond to our little list. Ooh, Dionea. Check out these fly traps. Wouldn't be surprised if these are also seed grown, knowing Gabriel. Holy macaroni. Okay, now we're getting into some interesting stuff. This looks like a pickle plant of some sort. If you're familiar with that. Two. What is this one numbered? Okay, one, two, three. Uh oh, now you're screwing with me, Gabriel. There are two twos. What is happening? This is a six. I'm not sure what's in that. Holy Gabe, how many things did you send me, man? Oh my goodness. Five, six, seven, eight. More Drosera, and there's some really cool ones in there. Oh my gosh, Gabriel, you did not have to do this, brother. 
I see more Drosera again. Okay, so there's some Droseras again, a few different species. 14, the numbers, this chair sucks. The numbers are going up to 14 people. 14. Okay, let's go through this list. And I think we have one more thing in here. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's not out yet either. And then we have 10 here. And uh, <laughs> I thought that was it. It's not. There are still seeds in here. Of course, he has a scientist's handwriting. N no, no disrespect intended, but let's just say we got a bit of chicken scratch going on here. Okay, hold on. Rebutus for being something V densis Yeah, I do not know what that is. D spatulata, I can read that. D spatulata tamlin. D nidiformis, I think that's right. Nilifor, or I don't know if that's a D or an L. It's like a hybrid of cursive and, okay, he's gonna kill me. I swear, Gabriel, I love your handwriting. It's, it's beautiful. Okay. What did he write here at the bottom? Gabriel. <laughs> okay, I don't feel bad anymore. Look what he wrote. I do not feel bad anymore. He literally writes, Dion, nobody can read my handwriting, so everything is labeled in numbers. There's a species list on this sheet. Hope they all lived. You're the best, Gabe. Okay, so, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go through this here. Um... Number one was kind of obvious. Dionea misipula, the Venus flytrap. Typical form. Two is, I think that pickle plant or whatever it's called. It's like a fuzzy pickle kind of looking thing. I don't know if you can make that out. Two here, this was the Delo or Delosperma echinatum. I really hope I'm not butchering the Latin pronunciation here. Three is here. Now this is like... That's a lot of Drosera, and there's a, a, I don't, it's insane. It's a, like a gang of Drosera that are just waiting for me to trip into them and eat me. Drosera species. So it's I, unidentified, but likely spatulata of some sort. Four. Where are you, four? Four's just gone rogue? We don't have a four. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is four. Four is hernia species, most certainly H. Schneideriana, Schneideriana. Okay, what are these? Let's let's take a quick look. I'm just gonna be very gentle. Oh wow, look at this, beautiful. Thanks, Gabe. So it looks like it appears to be some type of cacti. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. This is so awesome. Thanks, Gabe. Um. Oh, here. Five, six, seven, eight are together. But Gabe, I do have one complaint to make. I'm not sure why you put eight between six and seven. Not, not cool, dude. Gabriel loves my humor. Okay, so let's, enough rambling. We have number five here. So number five right there is uh, Drosera tokayen, or tokayensis. Hey Tiki, you heard that? Bad joke. Number six here is Drosera spatulata, which is the Gold Coast from Queensland. Beautiful Drosera. This one here looks like a, okay, sorry, number seven. I guess I have to go over one. Oh, cool, Drosera capensis giant. Interesting. Maybe mislabeled seed, but not, because it's not that big. Okay, so that's what that one is. And then we cross back over to eight, and eight is Drosera binata. Coromendel from New Zealand. Wow, very cool. Thank you so much, Gabe. Wow, I'm just like googly eyeing all of these. Oh, nine. Oh, he gave me an Acheria. Cool. So, number nine here is an Acheria. Probably hates how I'm pronouncing that, but I think I'm saying it right. I don't know if you can make that out. Lovely. Ten. 10 is a Deshidia. Watch your language, Dion. Deshidia species Numu. Deshidia species Numu Laria. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Wow, look at this Deshidia. 
Guys, I love this shit. Yeah, they're really interesting aeroid. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Gabriel. I think that one's gonna be happy to get into the greenhouse right away. Warmth and higher humidity levels going. Okay, that's 10. Now we have 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, 11 here, which is a little Drosera in there. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Sorry about the glare, but you should be able to kind of make it out. That one is a Drosera capillaris. Um, then 12 is an Atricularia pubescens which is a bladder wart of some sort, another carnivorous plant. Um, 13 is a Utricularia nephrophylla, which has white flowers, so it's wrapped up in there somewhere. And 14 is clearly more Drosera. 14 is the Drosera greomogolensis. 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 And that is a species from Brazil to the Bane. That is awesome. Okay, so 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 are all seeds that we already discussed. So, where was 15? Uh oh. Oh my god, that's a five. Gabe, you kidding me, dude? That is a five. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we looked at these seeds already. Gabriel, man, thank you so much, my friend. This is just incredibly generous of you. Oh my goodness. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to see how many plastic pots I have, make up some soil, and we're going to set these guys up in the beautiful indoor greenhouse. So let's do that now. But honestly, man, thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to link his social medias down below. You can contact him on Instagram. Like I said, harass him for plants. You might have some for sale. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I've just started repotting a bunch of these. This is the Drosera tokayensis, if I'm saying that correctly. So I've made a mix here of peat and silica sand for the carnivorous plants. And I'm literally just bringing it in around and using a, the end of a paintbrush to gently, not be too firm, but just kind of nestle the soil in around. So just kind of taking my sweet time, like so, and kind of make that out hopefully. Just take a bit of the soil, in like that, and then around the plant. Just like that. Okay, so that's good. And that's kind of what I'm doing. So now it'll just be a time lapse, but you'll see. Um, you'll just kind of watch me do it like that. So give it a bit of a drink. Like I said, some reverse osmosis water. Around the edges, mostly. See how much it settles. Might have to add a little bit more soil. That should be okay.
All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me unpack these plants and receive these beautiful treasures from Gabe as much as I enjoyed receiving them because that was awesome. If you want to see more plant-related content, click the link up above to see my plants playlist. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. Take care.